Assalamu alaikum dear students this is again your social science teacher Ms Asia Falak Sultan I hope you all are doing well today we are going to study our, our second chapter from unit 3rd which is the desert regions dear students before studying about the desert regions let us first know about what a desert is a desert is an area where there is scanty rainfall and vegetation is very little the deserts can be hot or cold and remains almost barren means infertile which are unable to produce any vegetation dear students in this very chapter we are going to study about the different deserts of the world so the larger deserts of the world are the Sahara Desert of North Af Africa, Colorado Desert of North America, the Arabian Desert of Penins Arabian Peninsula and the Gobi Desert of China and the Thar Desert of India in Northern Hemisphere. The Southern Hemisphere comprises of the Atacama Desert of South America, the Kalahari Desert of South Africa and the Great Australian Desert of Australia. Dear students, in this very chapter, we are going to study about the desert region of Saudi Arabia. Let us know about the desert region of Saudi Arabia, its location, climate, vegetation, animal life, people, the economy, the culture, etc. from this video. Hello students, today we will be studying about the land of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is a large country that is located above the equator. The Tropic of Cancer passes through the middle of Saudi Arabia. It is a country in Western Asia. It is the major part of the Arabian Peninsula. Remember, a peninsula is a land that is projecting into a water body from three sides, except one. It is called as the Arabian Peninsula because it constitutes of all the Arab countries. As you can see in this map, Jordan, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Oman, UAE, Bahrain, Qatar, all are located in the Arabian Peninsula. Comparing it with the other peninsulas of the world, the Arabian Peninsula stands as the largest peninsula of the world. It lies between the Red Sea on the west and the Persian Gulf on the east. Jordan and Iraq are its neighboring countries in the north. Kuwait is the neighboring country to its northeast. Qatar, Bahrain and UAE are its neighboring countries in the east. Oman in the southeast and Yemen in the south. Riyadh is the capital of Saudi Arabia. The land of Saudi Arabia is a high rocky plateau covered by a vast desert. That means the land of Saudi Arabia is a table land which is rocky in nature and sandy soil on top of it. The coverage of the land with sandy soil makes it a desert, a vast desert. There are many small hills of sand called sand dunes in the desert. The strong winds and the dust storms that blow in the desert keep shifting these sand dunes from one place to another. There are no lakes or rivers in this land and hence it is a dry land. But of course there are some places in this desert where underground water comes to the surface of the land and such water area in a desert is called as an oasis. As the Tropic of Cancer passes through the middle of Saudi Arabia, it has a tropical climate means the temperatures are really high in these areas. 
being near the equator with a desert landform and very little rainform, it is a very hot and dry land. Being a desert, the days are hot and nights are cool. As the sand has a tendency to heat up fast during the sun time and also to release the heat and cool down quickly, the days here are hot and the nights are cool. During winter, the nights are very cold as the sun does not absorb much heat being away from the sun. As Saudi Arabia is a desert and the sun does not absorb water, not many plants can grow here. Only a very few plants like the cacti and some short shrubs that can withstand the extreme conditions of the desert grow here. Date palm trees and crops such as wheat and barley are seen grown in this oasis. The land of Saudi Arabia has vast deposits of petroleum. The country earns money by selling petroleum to other countries. This makes Saudi Arabia a very rich country. The money earned from petroleum is used to modernize the cities of Saudi Arabia like Riyadh and Jeddah by providing them all the modern facilities and hence giving its people a high standard of living. The women of Saudi Arabia wear abaya when they go out. Abaya is a black clothing worn to cover the body and head. The males here wear a traditional loose-fitting white robes called the thobe. They also cover their heads with a white cloth held in place by a ring. Earlier, the people of Saudi Arabia were nomads. They are called Bedouins. The main occupation of the Bedouins is rearing cattle, for which they move from place to place in search of pastures for their cattle. They sell their cattle and its products in the marketplaces in villages. Even today, there are many people who follow the Bedouin lifestyle, though many Bedouins are changing their lifestyle by settling down in one place. Saudi Arabia has set up many large industries. Some of these are petroleum refining, iron and steel, cement and fertilizers. These industries have helped the country further increase its wealth and prosper. Saudi Arabia is an Islamic country. This means that the official religion of the country is Islam. The religion Islam was founded in Saudi Arabia by Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Mecca and Medina are the most important pilgrim cities in Saudi Arabia. Muslims from all over the world come to Mecca. Saudi Arabia has set itself as an excellent example as how a country can wisely make use of its natural resources and change a desert land into a rich and prosperous land. Students, I hope you understood the location and climate of Saudi Arabia very well. You understood the vegetation, the people of Saudi Arabia, their culture, their economy well. Now, let us know about the animal life of Saudi Arabia. The animal life of Saudi Arabia includes foxes, wolves, hyenas, magus, porcupines and many other animals like baboons. Smaller animals include gazelles, lizards and mountain goats which are you know there are some uh, white antelopes there also found in Saudi Arabia which are though very rare it also includes the birds like falcons eagles falcons eagles 
and flamingos also. Talking about the language of Saudi Arabia, Arabic is the main language which is spoken in Saudi Arabia. It is the official language of Saudi Arabia and also it is the writing language of our sacred book, the Holy Quran. So the Arabic language is also one of the official languages of United Nations. Dear students, this was all about the desert regions of the world. Hope you understood this chapter very well. And if you find any difficulty in understanding the chapter, do contact me via mail that is asya.sultan at the rate of kashmirhawa.org. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.